the next song from the early 1800s was originally about a fur trader who traveled by canoe down the Missouri River. And his conversation with a Native American chief known as Shenandoah in regard to marrying the chief's daughter. The song was passed to flat boatmen, then down the Mississippi to the clipper ships, and then it traveled around the world as an American folk song. So lyrics have evolved over time. And the song's been used extensively in Virginia, the name Shenandoah being used in reference to the Shenandoah Valley and the river of that name. Please join me in welcoming Dr. Richard Waters, pianist Chase Moore, and the Madison Singers to share one of America's most cherished folk songs, Shenandoah. thanks to the work of many and the support of local leaders and entities. They're listed on the back of the program and we would like to ask them or their representatives to, be, to stand and be recognized. In the lieutenant class, Mike Coyle, sheriff. In the captain class, Billy Ackerman, PBA. Kenny Barger, county clerk. Jim Barnes, mayor of Richmond. Mark Robbins, attorney at law. Rita Smart, state representative. Stuart Spencer, County Surveyor, Reagan Taylor, Judge Executive, 
and in the general class, the city of Richmond. Please show your thanks for the sponsors of tonight's program. And in the spirit of bipartisanship, for the fourth year in a row, the Republican GOP Ladies Club and the Madison County Democratic Women have provided this evening's flags. Let's see those flags, everybody wave before us again. We'll, we'll see that, we'll ask for that again later this evening as well. Next, the Madison Community Band will perform a medley of military themes set by Richmond's own Larry Barton. We invite those who are, were, or related to members of our armed forces to stand during the playing of the song associated with the branch of the service with which you identify. The songs will appear in the following order, Coast Guard, Air Force, Navy, Marines, and Army. Thank you. 
Benny Goodman made this a, a number one pop hit in 1936. Bette Midler has sung it. Jimmy Durante has sung it. So has Dean Martin and even Paul McCartney. It was used as the theme for the movie Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. And it was used in Pennies from Heaven. Yes, that's the story of That's the Glory of Love. Time to wonder. State College, at which time he packed the march into a box. In the early 1960s, he taught at the University of Minnesota, and later that decade joined the music faculty at EKU. He recently unpacked that march and asked the Madison Community Band if they would like to play it. And here it is, almost 70 years young, the American Thank you. 
from 1861 until 1941 in the Bengali region of South Asia, there lived a writer called Rabindranath Tagore. And among his works was a striking and bold poem, a prayer for his country, which was oppressed by British rule. Composer Linda Spevichek first heard it during a visit to see Jay Leno on The Tonight Show, during which actor Martin Sheen recited it. He later sent her the poem transcribed in his own hand. It reads, where the mind is without fear and the head is held high, where knowledge is free, for the world has not been broken up into fragments by narrow and domestic walls, where words come out from the depth of truth, where tireless striving stretches its arms toward perfection, where the clear stream of reason has not lost its way into the dreary desert sands of dead habit, where the mind is led forward into ever-widening thought and action, into that heaven of freedom, my father, let my country awake. Thank you. 
Alberto Chiaffarelli, an Italian-born composer, conductor, clarinetist, and arranger, was the principal clarinetist for the New York Philharmonic from 1914 to 1920. Among his compositions was the delightful Motorboat Rag, configured in March form. Music theory aficionados will note that the trio section is in the dominant key rather than the typical subdominant. There's a quiz later, so I hope you're taking notes. Here is the motorboat rack. Salute. I should mention that the presentation of this concert and the management of these two musical organizations is covered in part by no donations from our audiences. People generally don't have a reason to consider the costs, but it's not unusual for a band selection to cost over a hundred dollars and choir music maybe two or three dollars per singer per song to the man. It adds up. And if you'd like to help these groups flourish, please know that our friends from the Republican GOP Ladies Club and the Madison County Democratic Women will be stationing themselves at the entrances with bright, shiny buckets into which you may add your contribution in support of these organizations, or you may send a check later in the envelope stapled in your program if you wish. Thank you so much for your financial support. Our final selection this evening features the combined forces of the Madison Singers and the Madison Community Band performing John Higgins' United We Stand, a collection of several of your favorite patriotic songs, Listen for Simple Gifts, America the Beautiful, America, and the Battle Hymn of the Republic. Please welcome Dr. Waters to conduct our grand finale entitled United We Stand.
few more. Because you can't have a patriotic concert without a march by John Philip Sousa. Here is the Stars and Stripes Forever, the official march of the United States. Be ready because once more we'll need you to clap along and wave those flags. out this evening. We're really glad the weather held out. Seems that on even years we're outside and odd years we're inside. Maybe next year we break that street and stay outside. Uh, for our final selection, we'd like to ask that all who are able to please stand and join us in singing our state song, Stephen Foster's My Old Kentucky Home. <laughs> 